¿no? <risa> We like to push young Liberians to dare to dream, dream outside the box, dream big. And I think one of the things that I would love to see is, one of the things we'd like to share with them is that just because you see maybe a Jay-Z or whoever on TV, does not mean they did not have obstacles getting there. It may not have been war, but it probably was war in a different way. And we need to get them to understand that one, it doesn't happen overnight, two, you know, never stop your dream, never stop aspiring to be. And no matter what comes, make sure that you continue to push yourself and push yourself because yes, there are obstacles. Nobody's gonna always, you know, stand up and have your back. But as long as you believe what you're doing is the right thing to do, continue to do it, eventually people will follow you. We like leaders, we don't like followers. And that's what we need to create with our young people or the leaders. And I think music is a great way to do that because that's a great way for them to hear their, their peer stories and to understand I'm not in this alone. Very rapidly. Regional issues can be I think that um, hip hop definitely can be that catalyst um, to the young voice because it happens to be a form of expression that pe these young people tend to relate to. And I think if used wisely, it actually can really propel and excel um, their issues in areas that they want to basically have people pay attention to. I would personally love to see more of a collaboration between Western hip hop artists and you know African artists. Africa is not America. We have a history very specific, you know, we have a problem about good governance, about the minority, about the, the corruption, about the gender also. But hip hop at the beginning, if you go to north to the south, east to the west, is the same uh, thematic that we develop in our text. You know, the same thematic. So talk about corruption, so talk about youth employment, if I talk about uh, high education. <laughs> If you go, for example, in a country like, uh, uh, like Senegal, when the NGO or the governor want to make uh, some uh, uh, sensibilization in the HIV, everybody called the hip-hop artist, but they never called the poet or the guy who's making books. Why? Because the, the target group is the youth, and if you want to touch the youth, you need to, talk, you need to use hip-hop. This is the point, and everybody knows that. That's a diplomat and working for the U.S. government, we incorporate culture and art in all of the work we do in the embassy. And we have a specific uh, particular focus in trying to uh, bring into the discussion of the, the diplomatic space young people. Uh, and things that young people care about are, are diverse, but uh, music and the arts is a big part of what makes young people tick. I remember when I was younger, it was very much a part of my environment and what the way I expressed myself, the way I communicated really was in, interconnected with the music, music and the, and the uh, culture of the time. So in the embassy that in Uruguay, where I'm, where I'm now located, uh, I, we provide a lot of opportunities to bring American, diverse American culture to Uruguay, uh, hip hop artists, graffiti artists, uh, and they don't, you know, obviously bring in local young people to interact with those, 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 um, those artists. Uh, and the goal is to uh, give them voice, but also for them to hear of the diversity of American culture but also the positive messages that can come from such art.